Welcome back here to another edition of our Core Chronicles. I'm Orchid Loebscher, co-founder of the Core Blockchain and the Core Ecosystem. In this Core Chronicle, we will briefly touch on Core Pass and Ping Exchange. However, our main focus today is QSwap, the next use case that is getting ready to make its debut. We will also make sure uh, make some really exciting announcements regarding our advances in listings and marketing. So let's jump straight into the updates. First and foremost, let's start off with Core Pass. We are very proud to say that the changes and the success rate of the new flow in Core Pass reached a staggering. 98%. The remaining 2% stems from user rejections, which resulted from some misunderstandings and misinterpretations. However, the data accuracy is now a whopping 100%. As many of you may have already seen the CorePass update, which is an improvement for the long loading times of CorePass itself on the startup screen. This process is very reliant on the connection speed and ISP, which is of course an internet service provider. A full node and this connection is necessary to ensure that the application is connected to the network for peer-to-peer -peer data transfer to actually take place. The node ensures that the users can be found, which in turn ensures that the connection can be made in between the requester and the sender. And then, of course, the data transfers can occur. With this improvement that we have implemented, the process is making CorePass as fast as it used to be on startup. Next is a brief update on Ping Exchange. Our first priority, of course, is addressing the issues reported by our community and enhancing our tools to provide better support to everyone. We have scaled our testing and bug finding platforms, which now allows us to replicate the issues reported accurately. For those uh, who may not be familiar with the development and uh, patching, the ability to replicate an issue is crucial for debugging behavior prior to being able to fix the actual issue. We are also diligently working on our gateways to connect to third-party services like CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, among others. This is a key step in broadening our ecosystem's reach and providing more value to our users. Additionally, we are in the process of implementing the possibility for users to on and off ramp fiat. This development is significant as it will make Ping Exchange even more accessible to a much broader audience, facilitating easier entry and exit points for users interacting with the digital currency space. Now, for the most important segment of today's chronicle, QSwap. What is the importance of QSwap and how does it actually function? Well, you see, QSwap distinguishes itself through its seamless integration with CorePort, which of course is a browser extension of CorePass designed for secure offline transactions without storing private keys on the platform. This integration highlights a significant emphasis on security and users' ownership of their own assets, which is a crucial aspect in the DeFi spaces, which also tend to be prone to security breaches. It features uh, 
Uh, its features range from token swapping to liquidity pool management, which enhances the DeFi ecosystem on the core blockchain by providing users with comprehensive tools for engaging with digital assets. Key features include the core port integration, which of course enhances the security and convenience. Token swapping. This facilitates easy and efficient exchange of various tokens, improving market access. We also have liquidity pool management. This empowers users to contribute to market depth and earn passive income through transaction fees. And then of course, there's also language and currency preferences, which improves accessibility and user experience across multiple different regions. So the next question is how does QSwap work? QSwap allows users to connect their wallets via the core port. So having that extension engages in token swaps or allows for engagement in token swaps and participate in liquidity pools. It enables users to swap tokens based on real-time rates, add or remove liquidity to pools, and create new pools for CBC20 tokens. The platform dynamically adjusts to market conditions, providing essential information on liquidity pools and enabling transactions in the user's preferred language and fiat currency display. QSwap functions as an automated market maker, aka an AMM, a type of a decentralized exchange, again a DEX, mechanizing uh, uh, the mechanism that relies on liquidity pools rather than traditional order books to facilitate trades. So how do liquidity providers actually generate profit? Well, liquidity providers earn profits through transaction fees generated from token swaps within the pools they contribute to. When users swap tokens, a small fee is deducted from the transaction and distributed among the pool's liquidity providers. Um, of course, this is done proportionally uh, to their share in the pool. This mechanism incentivizes liquidity provision, allowing providers to earn passive income while supporting the ecosystem's fluidity and token availability. The next question is, what contributions does QSwap make to the core ecosystem? Well, QSwap enriches the core blockchain ecosystem by encouraging token diversity. This makes it, use, uh, it easier uh, for developers to list new tokens and for users to access a wider variety of assets. It also enhances market depth by facilitating liquidity pool creation and management. QSwap contributes to the overall liquidity and health of the core blockchain's DeFi landscape. It also provides a decentralized alternative. This platform offers a decentralized venue for token exchange and liquidity provision. That's of course appealing to users who prioritize decentralization and security. Then the next aspect is CBC20 wrapped tokens. Incorporating CBC20 token wrapping allows for the possibility to add wrapped tokens, which significantly improves QSwap's contribution to the entire core ecosystem. So you might ask, what differentiates QSwap from Ping Exchange? And what is its supportive role? So QSwap differs from Ping Exchange in its decentralized nature. It emphasizes user control and anonymity. As a decentralized platform, QSwap supports Ping Exchange by several aspects. One, serving as a liquidity source. 
enhancing overall market liquidity, which in turn uh, benefits users on Ping Exchange itself. It offers a decentralized entry point, which is attracting users who prefer not to undergo full KYC, but still want to engage with the core ecosystem itself and potentially funneling more users towards Ping Exchange for alternative or different services. So you might ask also, what are the advantages of QSwap? Well, QSwap's advantages includes multiple aspects. Number one, it, it's got security, which means with CorePort's integration, it prioritizes security without compromising convenience, aka a great user experience. Decentralization, which provides users control over their assets and... Um, this is a little bit contrasting with centralized exchanges. It also enhances user experience with uh, which it supports multiple languages and fiat currency preferences, um, which allows us to cater to a global audience. And then, of course, there's the ecosystem integration, which contributes to the depth and diversity of the core blockchain's DeFi ecosystem. This encourages active participation from users and developers itself. So, after learning all about the features, I think it serves to mention that the release of the platform is a very important milestone for the core community itself. Now, you may, you may ask why. And the reason is actually really simple. Those of you who belong to the group of believers, and of course, hodlers, you will reap the benefits of your patience and support thanks to the aforementioned possibilities to lock your XCB and CTN, and for that, also future CBC20 tokens. Lastly, and probably the question that is currently asked the most, when does the marketing start, right? <laughs> well, we are very happy to announce that our listing of XCB on CoinGecko has been approved. And they are currently in the process of updating the pages. Um, and whilst we are in that process, we are also busy with the listing of CTN there. Additionally, we are in the process of listing XCB and CTN on CoinMarketCap. And we are also very happy to announce and want to congratulate the Catch That Rabbit team for the listing on Mining Pool Stats. This significantly increases the visibility of the mining opportunity of XCB. So, when these listings are complete, we will be able to really start pumping the marketing, as then we can direct people to these trusted websites, which as you all know, are a requirement for any project to be taken seriously. This has indeed taken quite some time, but it was because we needed to fulfill the requirements of being live for a minimum of two months with Ping Exchange. We are also happy to announce that we are in the process of listing Ping Exchange on CoinMarketCap and will also apply for a listing with QSwap on DeFi Llama. For those who are wondering also and are asking, we will segment a part of next week's Chronicle to discuss the early adopter NFT as well as the Vega NFT distributions. So, with all that being said, that's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed this Core Chronicle Please stay safe, keep on hodling, and stay tuned for more updates as we continue to build a decentralized future together. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and help us to grow our community. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of The Core Chronicles.